All right, so take two. Uh, this is my second time trying to record the audio for this because I guess technically my third. Um, the first time when I was actually recording the video, I did a lot of voiceover work with the as I, or not voiceover work, but recording as I was going. Um, but apparently, for some reason, while I was recording, no audio was recorded. Then I tried to just go through this and voice it over, and um, my mic wasn't on. You think I would have checked that, but I didn't. So third time's the charm, right? All right, hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Barry with Barry Stuff Arts. Today we're swatching out this ten tube set, the Master Artist set. Uh, I also have uh, just gotten the mail the other day. Um, the Daniel Smith dot cards of their 140 colors as well as Prima Tech colors. Uh, I really would like to swatch those for future videos. There are four sheets um, and because I don't like making very long videos I will probably swatch the one sheet at a time. So this Master Artist set of 10 tubes comes with Hansa Yellow Deep, Mayan Red, Ultramarine Blue, Cobalt Blue, Viridian, Yellow Ochre, Burnt Sienna Light, Neutral Tint, Deep Scarlet, and Pyro Red. These are all 5 milliliter tubes. Uh, I don't have very many of these Daniel Smith colors, so I have this portable painter, which I hadn't had any paints in yet, and I thought it was a good place to do that. Uh, it does hold 12 colors, has a lot of mixing wells. Uh, and I will pick two other colors for those last two spots at some point in the future when I uh, figure out what colors I want them to be. So the way I like to lay out my swatch cards, I like to do one section of plain color, I like to do a gradient, I like to do layering, and then that bottom section I decided I wanted to split into two. Um, the left side will be a lifting test and the other side will be a dispersion test. Also on these cards I have the brand name, the paint name, the pigment information, and their series, light fastness, the staining, and opacity. This is my little, uh, where I was kind of planning out how I wanted to set up my cards, and you'll see where I, I decided I wanted to split that bottom one in half. For my swatches today, I'll be using two different brushes. One will be a square flat brush uh, by Dale or Rowney. I've had this brush for a really long time, so I'm not 100% on the size. I would guess it's about um, a quarter inch. And then I have this number four round that I just got from Beam Paints that I will be using mainly for the dispersion test. Since I'm not sure how well you can see my cards while I'm swatching them, I will put up the pigment information and light fastness information that I find online from the Daniel Smith website. Our first color is Hansa Yellow Deep, made with pigment PY65 with a light fastness rating of excellent. So as I do the gradients here and for future cards, uh, I did the lines for these top to bottom because I wanted to have the cards, the gradient come top to bottom. But I realized after the fact, after I'd already made these cards and I really didn't want to make them again, that for some of my future swatches, um, I want to do them, make the line go left to right so I can get a larger section of gradient to see from you know full full pigment all the way down to the lightest 
with my core cards here, I had already started doing the line being vertical and then halfway through I switched it from being horizontal. So for a little while, some of my cards will be wonky. Our next color gear is ultramarine blue, made with pigment PB29. Uh, it is a granulating color with a light fastness rating of excellent. It is transparent and mostly staining. Throughout this, you'll see me go back and uh, over time I will be adding other layers to my swatch cards so that they can dry as I go. So when I finish one, I'll try to go back and always do another layer of the previous cards so that way we can still keep some forward progress. Our next color is Viridin, made with PG18. It is a granulating color with a light fastness rating of excellent. It is, it says non-staining, but we'll see later when I do my list, lift test. I did not get very much of the pigment up, or sorry, it is non-staining, uh, and it is a transparent color. For our next color, we have Burnt Sienna Light, made with pigments PR101 and PO48. It has a light fastness rating of excellent. It is non-staining and is transparent. Next we have Deep Scarlet, made with PR175. It is mostly staining and semi-transparent, with a light fastness rating of excellent. I forgot to mention as I was going through this, uh, my swatch cards are currently done on um, Arteza's Expert Watercolor Paper. Uh, it is a paper that I have the most abundance of and I will probably use the most to do my painting, which paintings, which right now is why I like to do them on that paper. I do have some large sheets of Arches uh, cold press paper, 100% cotton, that in the future I might redo them, but for the time being, because I'm mostly using the Arteza Expert watercolor paper, that's really what I'd like to see my swatches. Our 
our next color is Mayan orange. Uh, there is no pigment information provided on the Daniel Smith website or on the tube. It does say NA. Uh, it has a light fast rating of very good. It is semi staining and is semi transparent. Our next color is, I think so far out of my, my favorite out of this whole set, uh, because I really like blues and greens, uh, is Cobalt Blue, made with PB28. It is a granulating color. Uh, it is semi-staining and semi-transparent, with a light fastness rating of excellent. I'm still new in my watercolor journey, so picking colors to paint with and not just because I find them pretty is kind of hard. I really love a lot of blues and greens and purples. And uh, unless I'm going to be painting with a lot of blues and greens and purples, I always have to stop myself from jumping at those colors specifically. Our next color is Yellow Ochre, made with PY43. It is another granulating color with a light fast rating of excellent. It is non-staining and transparent. Our next color is Neutral Tint, made with pigments PBK6, PB, no, that's wrong, hold on. I wrote it wrong on my swatch card. I wrote PB16, but it is supposed to be PB19. So Neutral Tint is made with pigments PBK6, PB, sorry, PV19, and PB15. So I will have to fix that later. Uh, it has a light fastness rating of excellent, it is semi-staining, and it is semi-transparent. And for our last color, we have Pyral Red, made with PR254. It is semi-staining, it has a light fast rating of excellent, and it is semi-transparent. I was a little bit heavy-handed with picking up the pigment off the palette for this one, which is why that red is so dark. A little pigment goes a long way.
Okay, now that our swatches are all done, I will go back and... Sorry, they're not all done. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go ahead and finish up the layering process. And when that's done, we're going to go ahead and move on to painting with them. All right. Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, turns out I was actually able to start filming, finish this same day. Um, so, the where we left off, uh, I need to do the lifting tests for these, and then do a little demo piece. So let's let's get to doing our lifting.
So this is the third time or fourth time. I'm not really sure where all of my recordings, voice recordings have messed up, where I thought I recorded them and something happened. Uh, but this is, this is my finished piece. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me painting it as much as I enjoyed painting it. I really like how this came out. Um, if I had to be honest, I, I was a little bit impressed with myself because I kind of felt like it was a little bit higher than my current skill level. Um, I definitely really like these paints. I look forward to getting more of them in the future. Uh, so, yeah, this is the, the 10 Tube Master set, and this is what I was able to make with it. Um, these are all my swatches. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you like watching my content, please consider subscribing and leaving a comment below. And uh, I hope you look forward to the next one. Thank you. One last thing before I go. I am, I got some handmade paints by Aga from Hungry for Paint. I got her Tropicana set which includes four colors. Uh, so soon I want to, I'm going to be doing a video for that and testing those out. I'm really excited for it because I've become really interested in handmade paints. Um, so look forward, look for that video in the future.